Hello, Beast here, and today I'm going to conquer my fear of bugs by eating a smorgasbord of insects ranging from giant water bugs to black scorpions and finishing my meal off with a tarantula. I'm traveling to New Jersey, the unlikely home of the LA Beast, professional competitive eater and a holder of four Guinness World Records titles. Watched online by millions, Kevin Straley has attempted amazing feats of human consumption. And he's invited me to come and meet him as he prepares for his biggest challenge yet, the Beast's Buffet. Hey, Kevin! Hey, so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. But what are we doing here? What I'm going to be doing in three days is attempt five Guinness World Records titles. Okay. So I need to come get the food items. So we're grocery shopping? Yes. Fantastic, I will go get the cart. Okay. How do you choose the kind of foods that you're going to be eating? Like, where do you come up with the titles? I've been doing like competitive eating uh, since 2012. And like I started a YouTube channel where I started eating ridiculous things like drinking bottles of Tabasco hot sauce and eating eggs with the shell, cactus and... An actual cactus? Correct, and it has the spikes oh. on it and everything. I'm... But that's gonna cause internal injury, isn't it? It doesn't. You can feel it scraping the back of your throat as you're swallowing. Why? Because that's what I do. That's what I'm known for. See, this is where I think you're different, because when I think of competitive eater, I think someone eating an apple pie, someone eating loads of hot dogs. Right. But you eat stuff that yeah. probably shouldn't be yeah. ingested. Yeah, I think, <laughs> correct. So I'm dying to know, how did Kevin from New Jersey become the LA Beast? In 2010, and I like posted a video, like the Diet Coke and Mentos challenge, where I put Mentos in my mouth and tried to like, chug the soda down and my friend's brother is like oh what are you gonna do you're gonna make more videos yeah and like he thought it was like a complete joke of what i was doing i packed up my car like with all what could fit in the car and like that's when i had like fifty thousand subscribers and mm -hmm. like i decided to go after it from those early days kevin has grown his audience to an incredible 1.8 million subscribers and has recently achieved his first four Guinness World Records titles. They include the most ghost pepper chilies eaten in two minutes, most chicken nuggets eaten in three minutes, most powdered donuts eaten in three minutes, and fastest time to drink a bottle of maple syrup. And I'm here to witness one of his most ambitious challenges yet. What is the Beast Buffet? Uh, the Beast Buffet is actually an event where I'm going to be sitting down and consecutively uh, attempting multiple titles, uh, one right after the other. It's like science almost. Uh, like I've, I'm trying to prove what's humanly possible for the, the human body to consume. My question is, is it dangerous? You just gotta flip on the idiot switch and you have to tune out your mind. Is it dangerous? Yes. I can't tell if I'm excited or terrified to watch the beast in action, but I'm about to find out. This is your setup. Correct, like I was facing the other way and. Then, Fans found out I'm living at home with my parents and they called me like a rich, spoiled brat and stuff like that. But I, I, I would rather do this than do like a regular 9 to 5 job. With that said, let's get down to some bugs. Okay. Illy Beast here. Today I'm going to try and conquer my fear of bugs. These things do have eyes and legs. And three, two, one, go. <laughs> Black scorpions. What if you get the stingy bit on your throat or something? Yeah, have a good day. A tiny tarantula. Hopefully, I don't spew this back up. With the Beast's Buffet looming, I've arranged to meet Kevin at his local doctor's office to get the all clear before the event. So food challenge, huh? Yes. What are you eating tomorrow? The fastest time to eat all of the chocolates from a, a Christmas advent calendar, a freezing cold two liter bottle of soda, as many Reese's peanut butter cups in one minute as possible, the most gummy bears eaten in one minute, and then I'm going to finish it all off by drinking a cup of coffee in less than five seconds. This is all out of the ordinary. 
Have you ever been hospitalized after any of these episodes? I've eaten raw meat, like, like cow hearts and cow brains and pig's blood and stuff like that. That's when I had digestive problems for about four months. This is a lot to take in, even as a medical uh, professional. Yes. Um, let me digest that yeah. information. The human body was not designed to absorb, assimilate, and process so much of food. On a bad day, you could end up with intestinal malfunction, uh, leading to surgeries. Let's check your blood pressure. We'll take it from there, OK? OK. With a clean bill of health, I leave Kevin to meet his mother to find out what she thinks of Kevin's internet stardom. What did you first think of the LA Beast persona? You know, I've always been supportive of him. My main concern is that he doesn't hurt his body. Sure. And that's his main concern as well. When you watch some of the videos and he films things in your kitchen when you aren't there, what are your thoughts when you watch the videos back? Son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> he did it again. But I watch all of his videos and I'm very proud of him that he's an entrepreneur. I just still get a little nervous sometimes. You ready? Uh-huh. Okay. Three, two, one, go. That's... <coughs> it, it, wow. it builds up here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, gosh. Yeah. With our time together running out before tomorrow's big event, I really need to address the elephant in the room. Why is the LA Beast back in his parents' basement in New Jersey? I, I was driving. Um, I didn't eat enough that day, and I just kind of lost control of the wheel, and, and I flipped my vehicle. I know I hit my head. I had a collapsed lung. Oh, my gosh. And my car is, like, up in flames. And the hospital bills started racking up, and I decided to kind of close up shop in Los Angeles to move back home and be closer to my friends and family. I hit a rock bottom. I was in bed for three days because I just couldn't, I felt defeated. Yeah, I mean, depression is a serious, serious topic. And I guess a lot of people don't want to talk about it or admit it, but yes, absolutely. Uh, I, I, w I was depressed and like, yeah, people say, oh, you're this big star, millionaire and everything like that. Like that is not the case whatsoever. Like I'm a human being. I'm not perfect. These past six months have not been easy, but I had a goal and the goal was to get to the gym. And once I started getting back to lifting weights, I started to feel like my old self again. When I slowly started to post on YouTube, I started lifting again and like started to build some sort of momentum. I'm struck by Kevin's determination and focus to overcome this dark period in his life. It's that dedication that's already awarded him four Guinness World Records titles. And I'm excited to see if it brings him more tomorrow. Hi everyone, thank you for joining us here today. Whether you know him as Kevin Straley or the LA Beast, you are here to witness greatness. He is attempting not one, not two, but six Guinness World Records titles to add to the four already hanging on his wall. So with no further ado, I'm gonna hand it over to our official Guinness World Records adjudicator, Casey. Thank you, Claire. So Kevin, uh, for the first of your record attempts today, it's the fastest time to eat all chocolates from an advent calendar. For the title, three, two, one, go. Nope. Uh, however, unfortunately, an invalid attempt. Um, the mark to beat was two minutes. Final score was two minutes, 31 seconds. Um, I think I'd like to just make one more attempt. This will be your second attempt for the fastest time to eat all chocolates from an advent calendar. Go. You achieved a score of two minutes, two seconds. Oh. Unfortunately, not a Guinness World Records title, but a great effort nonetheless. Got it. How are you feeling? I'm disappointed. 
Uh, I said if I walked away with a Guinness World Records title today, uh, it would be that one. But um, yeah, I'm excited to chug a, a hot cup of joe. And then a freezing bottle of a soda. <laughs> yes, the, the freezing two liter bottle of soda is gonna be, that, that is the most difficult one on the list, so. I'll leave you to get back in the zone, okay? Good luck. Thank you, thank you. Three, two, one, go. Stop. The current record to beat is 11 marshmallows. You achieve a total of 19 marshmallows. <laughs> You achieve a total of eight. Woo! Again, it's another new Guinness World Records title. Go. Thirty seconds. The score of thirty-one gummy bears is the new Guinness World Records title. Okay, this is for the title. Go. Oh, 5.1 seconds. 4.78 seconds. Yeah. Okay, in the full record title. All right, so I'm now the king of coffee, apparently. He doesn't even drink coffee. <laughs> That's an incredible five out of six Guinness World Records titles. But this is going to be the toughest one yet. I know how much this means to Kevin, and I can't help but worry that if he doesn't get it, it's going to cast a shadow over everything else he's achieved today. Three, two, one, go. Achieved here today, one minute twenty one point yes! zero seconds. The new Guinness World Records title. Of the six record attempts you did today, you achieved five new Guinness World Records titles, which is no small feat. I think I need a couple days to finally have that sink in. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, I appreciate this opportunity. Um, and yeah, I'll never, never forget it. The last few days of Kevin have been an eye-opening experience. I've had such an insight into the competitive world of eating and how they train and prepare like athletes for each challenge. I admire Kevin's drive and determination to be the best that he can be. And I think there's a lesson there that we can all benefit from, even if we don't use it to eat bugs. Hungry for more? Head down to Florida with us to meet the couples whose bodies are almost entirely covered in tattoos.